Thank you for staying with us. And now we move on and no one likes seeing ants, flies, cockroaches and other household pests in their home. But controlling them can be a bit complicated and expensive and often involves chemicals. Fortunately, there are plenty of simple tricks and household products, some of which you probably already have on hand, that can create a safe and chemical-free pest defense mechanism. And if these strategies do not to work, seeking out the services of a professional will be the last resolute. Today we look at non-chemical ways to get rid of household pests and joining us is Kibegwa Moraya who is the CEO Rafiki Pest Controller Limited. Great to have you Moraya. Thank you. Okay, great. Before we delve further sir, into our conversation, we'd like to understand who Rafiki Pest Control is, uh, what you do and just expound, more, bring, bring us up to speed on who you are. Uh, Rafiki Pest Control is a pest control and hygiene company mm -hmm. where we have mastered the art of ensuring that uh, all people live comfortably without uh, the disturbance of pests because pests are always a uh, big nuisance mm -hmm. anytime. Yes, always yes. have been. Yes. Okay, now 2022, what are some of the maybe, you know, trends or technology trends when it comes to household pests mm -hmm. that you can look forward to? Uh, so we've actually tried to modify a uh, lot of things to mm -hmm. ensure that uh, we have a permanent solution to some of the issues uh, when it comes to pest control. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we're trying really to uh, divert and use non-chemical uh, uh, mm -hmm. methods mm -hmm. and mostly so that actually it's modification of uh, structures, homes mm -hmm. and modification of uh, how we see our daily things in the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. So that's how actually we are. We just want to orient ourselves in getting uh, more into non-chemical um, uh -huh. uh, ways of controlling pests. Uh -huh, that's in environmental homes. friendly. Yes, that's right. Yes, and when you say permanent, how permanent is it? Uh, permanent is that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's a long-term solution. Like uh, one, well, once you do this structural change, mm -hmm. it can actually take maybe two to three years or, or over five years mm -hmm. without you having disturbance. So it just mm -hmm. little, needs a little maintenance, mm -hmm. uh, so say it. So that really becomes more economical too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and uh, we are talking matters environmental, you know, being, you know, safe for even for us uh, human beings. Yes. But uh, what works for cockroaches? Does it also work for mosquitoes or how does that work? Now, every pest has its own way uh, mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, we can use like bats. Bats always like staying in the ceiling area. So if mm -hmm. you leave your ceiling area like uh, un unoccupied mm -hmm. or uh, unattended for a long time, mm -hmm. it becomes a harbor for bats. Yes. So what we do for that, we always uh, change that place by uh, making it uh, like uh, we can make your ceiling. If you have a high ceiling that actually mm -hmm. empty, mm -hmm. we can make it a library for you, mm -hmm. or we can just make it a resting place. Just mm -hmm. uh, we redesign your uh, your your home differently. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we delve, how people are receiving your methods? Maybe mm -hmm. you can take us through some of these methods or the mm -hmm. structures that you have in place yes. to curb the various uh, kinds of pests that we have in our homes. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, like uh, what we have here, this actually uh, it's a mosquito control on or any flying insect actually that actually disturbs our peace at night. Uh huh. Yes. Any so buzzing insect. Yes. Any buzzing <laughs> insect. <laughs> yes. So mostly, uh, this takes care of um, dust. Uh -huh. uh, flying insects mm -hmm. and yeah, e.g. mosquitoes, houseflies, mm -hmm. moths, and uh, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, you can show us how it works. Okay. Yeah, so for mm -hmm. this one, this actually these are magnetic. So this actually sample. Let's say you know this is your window mm -hmm. or door. Yes. So this actually this is a magnetic uh, uh, magnetic way of doing it, such that you, mm -hmm. you can easily open. Then when you leave it oh, anytime, it's actually a magnet. Yes, yes. Six. yes. So like yeah. once you leave it, mm -hmm. actually it closes back. So you mm -hmm. really don't have to bother if the door actually is closed or not. Mm -hmm. So there's free f uh, flow of air uh -huh. and no dust coming in and uh, also no uh, flying insect actually comes in. So this actually helps you to even aerate your house without the need of an AC. Yes, so mm -hmm. we have free flow of air anytime mm -hmm. and you have peace. Okay, so yes. what you will do as a, you know, as a professional is just come and install this mesh yes. 
on my window. Yes, that's and right. And that's it. Yes. It, uh, it won't have to be plugged in somewhere. It just stick. It just sticks. Yes, it just sticks. Uh -huh. Yes. And anytime actually there's an issue, we always come and uh, do the maintenance for you. Because okay. actually this actually this is not a normal uh, mesh. This is a mm. fiber mesh, glass okay. fiber mesh. Okay. So that yeah. means it can be able to with, with, withstand high temperatures. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also and uh, scratches as well. And, and scratches as yes. well. So actually it's something strong. Uh -huh. yes. And so you're going to tailor make it to suit the design of my window, the size That's of right. my window that is? Yes. Okay. We How much does it go for? Um, the cost actually vary depending mm -hmm. on uh, your location and uh, also how exactly what you might need. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you might need uh, maybe modification of your windows to have maybe slides mm -hmm. or just direct implementation of the uh, mesh. So the price actually vary and the price mm -hmm. can actually start from as low as 1,800 per meter square. Oh, okay. to, uh -huh. yes, to as high as uh, maybe uh, 4,500 per meter square. Mm -hmm. But actually we are importing new materials from uh, China. Mm -hmm. well, actually these, these are called uh, retractable uh, mesh. Mm -hmm. So actually, yeah, so the cost is still actually on debate to see how mm -hmm. best we can do it. But we are still uh, trying to bring more uh, mm -hmm. better structures every time. Why bring more instead of uh, innovate? Uh, we actually buy Kenya build Kenya concept. Uh, no, we've actually not found actually these uh, maybe industries which uh, bri uh, like mm -hmm. make the mesh, the fiberglass mesh. Right now, no. Uh -huh. So, it's but not actually, at the Kenya yeah, it's not central glass. Uh, right now, it's not. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, once actually uh, we've actually seen what they do, you know, we have to see what they do. Then mm -hmm. we can actually see what we can actually get locally. Yes. Here, because now once we import, we mm -hmm. see what actually is there. Then we can now check and see mm -hmm. what we can get locally. We can use what we get locally. Quality wise yes. as well. Yes, and then mm -hmm. uh, what actually we can't get, then mm -hmm. we have just import. But with with time, this mm -hmm. thing actually will be a norm uh, in mm -hmm. Kenya. So we're really trying to mm -hmm. bring this technology here. Okay, and the durability. If you put if you put it up for me for like maybe uh, six months, how long should I have it on for? Um. You can you can have it every time actually, uh -huh. and uh, the durability is uh, it goes for long. Only uh -huh. we have factors that we will able to tell you some factors uh -huh. like uh, maybe where you're located. If you're you're in Mombasa, you know we have high temperatures and humidity, yes. which actually might tend maybe to uh, interfere with this. So we give uh -huh. a warranty where actually we service uh, for free. Uh -huh. So yes, yeah, so once we do that, we give a warranty period where we service for free until when then we can be able to discuss uh -huh. further about what can be done next. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. So this is for flying insects. Yes, flying insects. insects. Yes. That's okay. Right. So what else do you have? It's called what? Uh, this uh, actually is a, a magnetic mosquito mesh. Magnetic mosquito, mosquito mesh. mesh. Yes, but actually okay. it was meant for mosquitoes, but actually it, it prevents mm -hmm. now uh, more more things. We found out it could do more yes. other things. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. Yes. yes, and this one. Uh, so for mm -hmm. this one, actually, these are these are local. Um, uh, device it's mm -hmm. made of uh, silicon mm -hmm. and mostly this one actually it's good when it comes to cockroaches because mm -hmm. um, cockroaches um, get into your house through sinks mm -hmm. which actually you know they breed in the uh, manholes or the uh, county county m municipal uh, yes sewer systems. Uh -huh. So always you have to ensure that uh, your sink actually has to be closed such mm -hmm. that nothing comes up. Maybe this okay, one, you can, we can yes. show that, uh, yes. showcase that properly. Okay, so yes, for uh -huh. this one, uh, so let's say actually you can just put, this actually it's uh, simple, you just put it in any sink. It mm -hmm. fits uh, because it has this base, so it fits correctly. You can see the base yes, there? Yes, yes. Uh -huh, okay. So anytime you just uh, need like uh, to flush water, you only press. Then actually, it it, mm -hmm. it it allows water to go in. Then once you're done, you just uh, close. Mm -hmm. So this one just allows like nothing comes up to your house because uh, mm -hmm. cockroaches uh, always look for a uh, new uh, like uh, a place to 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 leave water and mm -hmm. food. So if you prevent them, then actually you'll be controlling them from your house. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the essence of pest control, it's mm -hmm. not really eradicating uh, like uh, the pest from the environment totally, no. Mm -hmm. It's actually controlling them so that they, do, they, they don't bring a nuisance where mm -hmm. we live. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it has no, no chemicals. Yeah, no it chemicals. has no like any, anything like Best, uh, what was what, Best what is it so called? something now yes it doesn't have any chemicals it's just a simple structure uh -huh. that actually prevents anything from coming up so if nothing uh -huh. can come up then whatever actually is there will just starve and die or just go back to where it was uh -huh. so that really helps you to be have a, have a peaceful life uh -huh. in the house yes 
Okay, so this is the silicone, what do you call it? Silicon sink uh, what? The silicon uh, sink stopper. Silicon sink stopper? Yes, yes. Okay, so you yes. just place it uh, on top of your sink, the yes. place where the water dry goes yes. through, yes. then you just uh, press it. Yes. So you actually put it like that, yes. and then when you're done washing your dishes, yes. you just press. Yeah, then the water, and the water, water drains. Goes through. Yes. Okay. And then now the mm -hmm. big object, like um, big chunks, actually can't go through. Mm -hmm. So that also uh, prevents you from actually blocking, blocking your, your drain. Yes, yes uh -huh. that's right. Okay, how much does it go for? Uh, this actually just get them um, uh, cheap from uh, 350 to 500 shillings, depending on the size and quality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. All right. So besides the mesh and the silicone uh, sink stopper, what else do we have? Uh, we now have what you call actually these are not, not, these are actually these are structures. Now when mm -hmm. we come to your house, we now we use what you call no it's exclusion. No, we mm -hmm. do more of exclusion. Mm -hmm. So like in uh, if your ceiling actually is empty, we can actually uh, make good use of your uh, mm -hmm. ceiling to be a storage. Mm -hmm. And uh, if other places like uh, maybe let's say. Uh, like drains or mm -hmm. garbage area, we just redesign everything mm -hmm. to prevent pests from breeding. Mm -hmm. So like uh, every solution is customized depending on uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the problem we have at hand. Mm -hmm. So for the first thing, bats can mm -hmm. be controlled by ensuring your, uh, your ceiling is well lit mm -hmm. and occupied every time. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have any accumulation of dust or something. Mm -hmm. So they can't really find uh, a place mm -hmm. to live. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes to rodents, yes. we use exclusion. That means uh, all drains should have one-way valve mm -hmm. so that nothing actually can go up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other type of exclusion is like we are ju just ensure we d you don't have any uh, mm -hmm. like areas, dark areas mm -hmm. that actually maybe like uh, blocks where actually we have holes where they can breed from. Mm -hmm. So we have to do exclusion totally. Mm -hmm. And aluminium has been one of the best uh, material for us mm -hmm. to use. Does the one-way valve also work uh, for cockroaches? That's right. Yes, it also works. Uh, but how does it work? Because I understand that cockroaches are him for lymph. Yes. Uh, but our... It's, it's not the same as our red blood cells, which can be electrocuted. Yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, one way valve, actually, mm -hmm. a valve is uh, something that allows th things to flow one way, uh -huh. such that uh, when actually they try to access your house, let's say from the septic tank area, mm -hmm. they really can't get up. Oh, so, okay. yes, uh, yes, so that's mm -hmm. is totally different. Mm -hmm. So we have actually, we just redesign everything to fit mm -hmm. the needs. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, so okay. I'm so certain that we will mm -hmm. soon be having architectural pest control soon mm -hmm. as actually one of the courses people should be mm -hmm. learning because pests actually are a problem. We mm -hmm. design homes, but mm -hmm. we don't consider that pests are mm -hmm. part of the environment that we should always exclude them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. So all kinds of pests. Yes. Munatoa kwa nyumba. Yes, all types of pests. How, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, you can always uh, get in touch with us, Rafiki mm -hmm. Pest Control, when you Google us, actually we'll be able to get our contacts, mm -hmm. or you can just reach us through uh, 0721, mm -hmm. uh, 213, mm -hmm. then 778. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. There you have it. CEO Rafiki Pest Controller Limited, uh, Mr. Moriah there. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned because coming up, Tech Innovations and Cyber Security Tip of the Day. Three D printed a food. Now, in today's world, we can magic up anything we want out of thin air. But three D printing technology is coming along quickly, and companies are already experimenting with printing a food. And how does it work? Just print some cakes, vegetables, or even a pizza. We are dreaming big here. Three D printing is taking off in other areas too, from creating aeroplane and vehicle parts, replacement joints such as hips or pieces for a board game it still has huge potential to change our lives in the coming years. The materials being used to print with are evolving too and now include graphene that is a lighter than air but 10 times as stronger than a steel. Fridges that order food for you. If 3D printed food seems unrealistic, how about a refrigerator that senses when you are running low on something and orders it for you? This tech already exists and is getting better and better every year. Eventually, it will be so common, every home will have one and you will never need to pop out to the supermarket again.
Cyber Security Tip of the Day. Best practices for your business, cyber attacks and cyber crimes are becoming common. Now, here are ways to protect your company against cyber threats. One, education. It's much easier to prevent a hack than it is to recover from a hack. Once your company's sensitive data is stolen through a ransomware attack, recovering it is often a long and tedious process. You can prevent this by teaching employees about basic security, personal cyber security. Prevalence of cyber threats goes a long way in stopping ransomware attacks before they can really do damage. Your employees should understand that they might be targets of malicious actors eager to exploit any entry they can find in your company. Better passwords and multi-factor authentication. Cyber thieves have developed powerful algorithms that can correctly guess difficult passwords in seconds. Traditional password advice suggested using a long password of 12 characters at minimum with a mix of numbers, symbols and capital and lowercase letters. While this is a good strategy, it is not enough and nearly every security professional recommends using two-factor or multi-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is a security process which requires two different authentication factors to gain access to programs or resources. Number three, know your company. Take advantage of an easy resource, your own knowledge. Think about your company and where hackers are likely to target. Will they be interested in your employees' personal information or are they interested in your customer databases or intellectual property? Find the most likely targets and secure them appropriately. Number four, safe and secure Wi-Fi. It might be a no-brainer for a company to have a secured, encrypted and hidden Wi-Fi network, but with the advent of remote working, it's important that your employees also safely encrypt their own personal networks. Your employees' security is also your security. Hacking an employee's remote network is an easy way to eventually gain access to the company's main frame. Number five, backups, backups, backups. Hackers thrive on being able to disrupt an organization's activities. An offline backup will enable your business to get back on its feet while cybersecurity experts deal with a damage and fallout from a cyber attack. Number six, install antivirus as software. Even the best trained staff occasionally make mistakes. Having antivirus and anti-malware software installed on computers add an extra layer of protection, especially against phishing attacks, a social engineering attack used to steal data and login credentials. Number seven, Secure physical devices just like you lock the doors when you leave your office. Company laptops should be secured with passwords or pins. Laptops given to employees who are no longer at the company should be retrieved. Think of every work computer as a possible gate into your company. And number eight, update software and firmware. Always update your software. The best antivirus and anti-malware programs are only as good as their latest patches. Are forgetting to install your uh, patches will allow hackers to exploit the systems or weaknesses. Number nine, be safe rather than sorry. Do you ever get an email and it looks suspicious? Never click on it. The ABCs of cybersecurity are always be cautious. Double check where emails come from before responding, especially if something sounds off. Be safe, beware, be secure.